In today's video, we're diving deep into A-B testing and showing you exactly how to split test in WordPress step by step. Now, there are a couple different ways to do this, but today we're just going to show you the fastest and cheapest option. So stick around to the end of the video because you're not going to want to miss any of this information. If you've ever wondered how to optimize your website for better performance and user experience, A-B testing is a powerful tool that can help you make data-driven decisions. Today, we'll be using a plugin called Nelio A-B testing to guide us through the process, ensuring that you have the insights you need to improve your website website's effectiveness. So let's get started taking your WordPress site to the next level using A-B testing. But before we get to the walkthrough, let's briefly discuss what A-B testing is. A-B tested is a method used to compare two versions of a web page to see which performs better. And often this is going to focus on elements like call to action buttons, color schemes, and layouts. Also towards the end of the video, if you don't have a hosting solution currently, or you're looking to switch your hosting plan, we're going to provide you with one of our favorite hosting services in the business. We'll do a complete walkthrough of how to set up your hosting plan. So be sure to stick around the end of the video because you don't want to miss that. Okay, now let's get into the step-by-step -step tutorial and how to set up your A-B testing on your website. So this plugin Nelio A-B testing that we're going to show you today is not as effective as some of the other plugins in the business like Thrive Optimize. However, you're going to get basic features to help conduct your A-B testing and this is a free option unlike some of the other ones like Thrive Optimize. And with Nelio, you're going to be able to test headlines, create two different versions of a page to test them and much more. So to start, let's install the Nelio A-B testing plugin. So let's go ahead and go to our WordPress account here. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to plugins. Now we're going to go to add plugin in the top left hand corner here. And we're going to type in Nelio AB testing on the right hand side here. Okay, now that we've done that, you can see that we will install the Nelio AB testing plugin. And once we've installed it, we'll just click activate. Okay, now that we've activated the plugin, you'll see it on the left hand side in this column here. So let's go ahead and click on Nelio AB testing. Okay, so Nelio AB testing is almost ready to go. Let's just accept the terms and condition and we can continue here. Okay, so so it's going to walk us through the process here of the test list. So let's go ahead and look at what it has for us. So it looks like our test lists are going to show up here. And then we have some customization options here in the right hand corner. We can add tests up here in the left hand corner. There's a quota. So when a test is running, it'll track the behavior of our visitors. And that's it. There's a help icon in the bottom right hand corner. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to do some split testing for some titles. So let's go up to the top left hand corner and click add test. Now you'll see we'll have page post custom post type headline heat map template theme widget menu CSS. SS, JavaScript product and bulk sale. But for the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and do headline. So once we've clicked headline, we can go ahead and see the test editor here. So it's going to walk us through a couple steps. We're going to name our test. Then we're going to change the names of the variants. Then we have variant A, variant B. There's also conversation goals and actions that we're going to edit. You can actually segment your visitors here as well. This is part of the paid version. And then on the right hand side, you'll see the status of the test as well as the test scope. All right, so let's work on a variant for a post that I already made. So I have one blog article here on my website. It says best ways to keep your dog cool in the heat. Let's go ahead and select that post. Test A is the title that already exists for one of your posts. And then test B is going to be the one that you want to change. Best ways to keep your dog cool in the heat was actually the name of our first article. But let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT for some variants on that title. So we've asked ChatGPT for some variants for our blog title. So let's just go ahead and select the top option here. Okay, now that we've selected that top option, we're just going to put that here as the B heading. And since that's the only thing that we're going to test, we'll leave the excerpt blank. Now, as we scroll down, we can define the goals and actions of our test. So you'll see that the default goal for the conversation goals and action section is there's going to be a new conversion in the test when the following conversion action occurs after the visitor has seen the tested element, which is a visitor views the best ways to keep your dog cool in the heat, which is the name of our first title. So this is good. This is our default goal. We'll just leave that here for now. Now, one thing we forgot to do, we can change the name of our test here in the top corner. So let's just go ahead and call this blog post one. And on the right hand side, you'll see the status and management of this test. Okay, so the test is ready, and we can start it immediately. And then we're going to end it manually. Now, if you want to give it a description, you can do that as well here. So we can just say blog post one again. And there's also a select URL matching mode down here, the URL contains the expected value, or it exactly matches the expected value. So you can change that if you like. Okay, so once we've done this, we can go ahead and click on the top right hand corner to save our test. And once we're ready, we can click start after that, it's going to bring us to the test results section, which is a a really neat part and we'll dive right into it here. So as we see here in the test results, we can pause the campaign. We'll see an overview of some of the results here on the right. There's a graphic here about the testing and it shows the conversion rate as well as the control version and the variance. So basically this is the data center. Once you get enough traffic, you'll be able to see which one is performing better. And if you need to stop or pause the campaign, you can go ahead and edit that in the top right hand corner. Now let's go ahead and go back to the overview section of the Nelio AB testing in the left hand corner here. And we'll see that with our free version of this plug, 
plugin, our quota is 500 available page views, which we don't have yet. So this bar will decrease as more views increase. And this is just one of our tests. So if we want to add another one here, we can go ahead and go to add test and we can change a post here or we can change a page. So let's go ahead and check out what those look like. So we're going to change a page now here and it's really the exact same process. So let's say we want to change a page here. Let's say we want to change the payment confirmation page for some reason. You can change the test title and content only and then you can go ahead and add your variant here and this time you can name your goal. So it allows you to put that information in for yourself. So some examples they give here are getting more subscribers or showing interest in your products. So let's go ahead and go back and let's go see what it looks like to do it for a post. Okay, once you do that, we can go ahead and select a post here again, which is the best way to keep your dog cool in the heat. And then we can go ahead and input our variant and then we can edit it here. And once you click edit, it's going to bring you to the page where it has posted my first blog post. And then you can go ahead and basically edit the variant. So it can be a completely different blog post if that's something that you want. Now you're probably just going to want to use this for titles. You can use it to see which blog post performs better, but you're probably just going to want to keep it to titles when you're just starting out. As you can see, Nelio is a very basic and easy to use tool that will help you A-B test some titles. You can also test pages and posts, but titles are probably where you're going to want to start with Nelio. If you go into the settings under Nelio, you'll see that you have some settings that you can adjust here. So you can decide how many of the visitors to your site are going to get this test. Right now it's at 100%, so everyone coming to our website is going to get this A-B test, but you can lower that to as low as you want. And then for goals tracking, you can change this from all pages to tested pages or custom. They also have that segmentation, which is a premium version here that you can upgrade to if you like. You can also exclude some IP addresses if you want to. And there's some other settings here that you can play around with too. Let's briefly share some tips about A-B testing in WordPress before we get on to showing you how to set up an account with our favorite hosting provider. Here are some tips on A-B testing the right way in WordPress. You really need to decide on that goal for exactly what you want from the outcome of your split testing. And a good place to start is to study your audience and their specific needs. Another good rule is that you really want to keep the experiments simple. Just as we showed you, you want to change a title from one title to another. Generally, it's a good idea to just create two of the version that you're changing, whether it's a page, title, or a post. This is going to allow you to dial in to make sure you're changing the things that need to be changed. And the last tip is that you want to make sure that you're documenting everything. Now, this is really helpful with Nelio's analytics, but you want to make sure that you understand exactly what you're changing and the results that come from it. This data is going to be valuable in the future because you're going to have a lot of it to look back on to see exactly what to do in future articles or posts. So we hope that's helpful. As you can see, Nelio is super easy to walk through and very simple to set up. But now we're going to show you one of our favorite hosting platforms. If you don't have a hosting plan yet or you're looking to switch your hosting plan, Hostinger is going to be a great option for you. So go ahead and click on that link down below in the description and we'll go ahead and walk through here and show you how to set up your account with Hostinger. Once you've clicked on that link down below, it should bring you to Hostinger's landing page here and you'll see that they have 24 seven customer support, free domain, free website migration included with their $2.99 per month and two months free of web hosting. Now this is also a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's really at no risk to you. Once we're ready to get started, let's go ahead and click start now. Now there's three different options for plans that you can choose from with hosting or here. The premium plan is going to start at $2.99 per month. The business plan is $3.99 per month and the cloud startup plan starts at $7.99 per month. Let's just briefly go over some of the differences and features between the three different types of hosting. So the premium allows for hundred different websites, 25,000 monthly visitors, hundred gigs of storage, a free email, free unlimited SSL, weekly backups, and a free domain, which is a value of $7.99. Now with the business plan, you get more traffic, more storage. You get daily backups instead of weekly backups, which we actually highly recommend that you do. You can also add those onto the premium plan later. You don't have to get it with the business plan. If you scroll down and go to the bottom here, we'll see that the business plan also has more features when it comes to managing WordPress, as well as their hosting or AI website builder. In terms of security, all of them are great across the board. They have standard DDoS protection, a web application firewall, and a malware scanner and some other features. The service and support is great across the board as well. 30 day money back guarantee, 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee, 24 seven global customer support. The only thing that you don't get with these two smaller plans are the priority support, but hosting your customer support team is great. So you won't even need that. So in terms of which plan we recommend when you're just starting out, the premium is going to be plenty fine for what you need. So let's just go ahead and choose that plan and we can get started here. Now we have to choose our period of hosting. Now the only one we don't recommend is the first one, the one month, because it's really expensive. It's $12 per month. And if you're just doing it for one month, it's not really worth it. You'll want to lock in for at least 12 months here. And that makes it a lot cheaper per month at $2.99, which is a really good deal. Let's go ahead and choose the 12 month option and go ahead and create your account by entering your email and password here. If you don't have an account with Hostinger, once you've done that, let's go ahead and enter some personal information down here at the bottom. And once we scroll down, you'll see that the plan discount currently is 75% off, but make sure that you put in the code my first website. 
website and click have a coupon code here. So let's type in my first website and we can press apply. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and enter our credit card information here. And you'll see again that there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So this is really at no risk to you. I've actually used their refund option before and it's very simple. They process it immediately and it's really great with their customer service team. So in the case that you don't end up using the website and you do need a refund, it's very easy to do so. Okay, so once you've done that and you've entered the coupon code, you can see that the total for the entire year of web hosting is $32.29, which is a crazy deal. This is one of the reasons why we love Hostinger. It's so affordable and the website is so intuitive to work with and the user face is really clean and simple. Once you're finished with that, just go ahead and click submit secure payment and you'll be all ready to go. That's all we have for you today on how to split test in WordPress for the fastest and cheapest way of doing it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. This channel is dedicated to providing you free resources to help you start and grow your first website. And if you're looking to start your first website, but you still don't know where to get started, we'll leave a link down below in the description of this video to a free tool that we created that you should definitely check out if that's you. So thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you in the next video.